It was a January like never before. It was both very hot and very cold. And according to Environment Canada, the best word to describe it would be extreme. We had a little bit of warm weather very early on and then quickly were thro thrown into sort of a real cold snap, temperatures much below normal. Um, we are breaking low minimum temperature records through parts of the uh, the uh, Okanagan um, through the sort of beginning, middle part of the month. And then a major whiplash towards the end of the month with complete change around and we were setting high maximum temperature records and seeing temperatures well above seasonal. So, you know, real extremes in terms of those two sides, Penticton, for example, hit minus 22.9 degrees on the 12th of January, breaking the record that goes back to 1909. We see Kamloops set a high maximum temperature record for the day on January 29th at 11.8 degrees, 12.8 degrees in Penticton. Uh, 12.4 degrees in Osoyu, so those are both daytime high maximum temperature records set on the 29th. While temperatures were both up and down this month, Environment Canada says precipitation was above normal. So Penticton, Kelowna, Vernon, all seeing above normal precipitation this month, as well as Kamloops. So uh, kind of a wet uh, month in terms of that. And as it mentioned, it can be in the form of snow as well and so we did see you know um, a fair amount of snowfall uh, with some of those storms that came through. I think everybody was pretty happy to see some of that snow especially over the mountains. Unfortunately that might not be there anymore <laughs> after or there's been a lot of melting with that warm conditions that we've had over the last little while. As we move into the month of February seasonal temperatures are expected to return to normal with highs hovering around five degrees. I'm Braden Ursel in Kelowna for Castanet.